Okay guys, so uh, last week we finished the greenhouse for our miniature Mondays and oh my gosh, didn't it turn out so good? Oh my gosh, I was so happy with it. It's so cute. I love all of the little plants. I just, I mean, that's probably been my favorite one so far and I realize now that I'm saying that with each one. So, I don't know, maybe I just only like things that I'm working on. I mean, I still like my old ones, to be clear, but um, maybe it's just two that I'm learning and growing. So, we'll see if this next one winds up being my new favorite. Um, I am really excited about this one. I think this one's going to be just as cute as the last one. Um, I have the fruit shop, Carl's fruit shop. Um, and just from the outside, yes, it's still in the plastic, you know, let me take that off so that we can see it better because I really want to, ah, didn't want to open and squirt deep enough, I guess. I want to cut into these boxes because these are actually really nice boxes to reuse for other things. Um, with the way that they open and everything so um, they're great for storing other projects in so um, this is probably the only kit that I would say keep the box um, but these boxes are super high quality and um, like I said are just kind of perfect for storing other things but there it is I'm so excited about this um, I mean look at just the three little plants there. I love this builds like this were one of my favorite things from the last kit, the flower shop, flower house. So it makes me happy in all of these tiny little fruits. I can't wait to open it up and look at those. So um, in this video today, we're gonna just unbox it and kind of get an eye full of everything. And then we'll be building this over the next few weeks. So let's go, let's do this. Okay guys, so we're gonna unbox Carl's Fruit Shop. This one is the thicker box, kind of like, um, ooh, I apologize for that truck. Uh, but, uh, what was the one we done? The bake shop so it's got the thicker box like the bake shop did not like the um, flower house or anything it's still the same concept just the box is thicker um, so we open it up and of course the let me just the camera a little bit bring it down here um, the why is this so uneven how about that? Okay. All right. Uh, the booklet's right on top. And as usual, it starts with furniture. Gets into the tiny things. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And then I'm putting it all together. This book seems a little shorter. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, it's starting already. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the cute little fruits and veggies. That, by the way, that sound is my clock on the wall. So that one was a little unavoidable. I probably should have planned not to be doing this on the hour, but look at the watermelons. Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness. So cute, the watermelons, the bananas. Again, I don't know why they don't put this greenery in its own separate bag. Oh, and another one of those terrible cash registers, which I will be repainting. See, they've got like these in a separate bag. Why wouldn't they do the rest of it? Oh, and look at different oranges and stuff. Oh, and we have some lilac colored stamens there. Huh, that's interesting. And of course, there we have all of our little beads and whatnot, the electronics, the light bulb. Looks like this one has two light bulbs. 
that's good because that was an issue with one of with the um bake shop was that it only had one light i didn't feel like that was enough so there's the wires and small metal pieces and the lighting oh that tone is so pretty for the furniture that's a cute piece there so of course all of the bags are labeled some more furniture pieces again that one i think is a little lighter tone oh, i love the colors here oh it's so pretty Perfect circle there. Oh, and that. That's really nice. All right. And then, of course, the bottle of glue. Now, um, for those of you that haven't seen before, I have... I do you... Let me... Hold on. I do use this glue, but I put it into a bottle with a needle tip on it so that um, I have a little more control over it but I have actually found that this glue works really well because it dries quickly so the furniture sets together more quickly than a lot of the other kinds of glues that you might would use um, the only thing I don't use it for is like the paper and that's mainly because I use the grandmother stovers for paper but other than that this glue actually works quite well so the paint on the other hand is horrific this stuff is terrible so I usually pull out some of my other acrylic paints um, and try to color match as closely as possible because this paint is just it's 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 bad it's bad bad all right i'm gonna lift this out and check what's underneath it then we'll get back to that um, as usual just the qr code for real life and then um, the request for product reviews from them. Let me take this stack of papers and we'll move the box out of the way. I will put most of it back into the box just for holding onto my desk. But let's see, what's this first one? It's very thick. Oh, wow. So it looks like we have some larger floor and wall pieces as well as all of the little stuff inside and I do think yeah they do them as one big piece and I'm not the biggest fan of this so what I'm probably going to wind up doing is cutting it along so that it's just not necessarily these eight and a half by eleven size sheets but half of this I, I don't mind this size but I don't want the full on both sides and it is just one-sided for this part and in case you didn't know most of these kits actually all of the ones that I've had have a centimeter measuring on the bottom because they do measure most of everything in centimeters and millimeters so if you don't have a ruler that has centimeters or millimeters on it they provide one for you so that's pretty cool oh the box of lemons cute 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 and i love this brick pattern and the pink i'm oh gosh the more i'm looking into this the more excited i'm getting um this one's quad folded too so again i'm probably just gonna wind up splitting it We've got a bunch of really large paper this time which i'm assuming are wallpapers and flooring and whatnot so that grandmother stovers 
is going to come in real handy. So I picked mine up at Hobby Lobby, but they also sell this on Amazon. If I can find the link, I will put it in the description below for you. But this is what it looks like. And it is just a solid glue. I'm not going to touch it too much. Um, so you just put a little water on it and it spreads out thin. Believe it or not, you see how low I've gotten it. It's just, you know, right below the full, full line. I've already used this on two full kits. So <laughs> it also lasts a really long time. So I highly, highly recommend this grandmother stover, especially with some of these larger pieces that I'm looking at. Oh, we've got the sign there and the greenery that I love so much, which this is all bonus stuff. You can see by the red dotted line, they give you a few spares. And then on the greenery, they actually have it double sided so that the leaves don't look funky. And there's a couple of other colored back sides for the bags and things. So that's cute. Cardboard piece. These, they use this when they want something that has a little more structure. So I'm assuming that these are probably the boxes. And then they've got extra pieces there too, just in case something messes up or maybe you want to put an extra one just to do it. I don't know. And then of course the guide. Oh my goodness, they made this one huge. So this I'm probably going to cut here and here because they don't have anything printed on those sections. But I can tell, not from this side. And this is just the guide so that you can figure out because all of these are labeled things like C3, C4, C5, you know, D5, D4, and E's. So instead of putting them on the actual pieces of wood like an Ikea something, you know, you have this and then you compare these to that and you can see that piece there is probably a c6 because it's the same color and shape so that's what that's for it also helps with a color guide for things that need to be painted and then let's go through what's in here As usual they come with a couple pieces of sandpaper that's what that is and then these are typically the walls the ceiling pieces stuff like that they got the aluminum it's the taped aluminum not the firm aluminum like we had last time so that's good uh, Ooh, that's funky You've got some sort of plastic grating. It is flexible. There's that. These are also plastic. That one's got a little dent in it. I hope that's not. Oh, and it's it's a wood texture on this side. And it's kind of a wood texture on this side, but it's different. That's very interesting. It's almost like a very, very thick cardboard paper I don't know that's really nice though and I'm assuming this is yeah this is about the same thing that's nice I haven't had that before and of course our paper which I still don't know the name of what kind of paper this is if anybody knows please let me know because it's thicker than tissue paper but it's kind of got the same feel to it, but it's much thicker and stands up more than tissue paper, but it's also not a cardstock. It's not, 
not a printer paper. It's very textured. I don't know what this paper's called. Somebody let me know. Ooh. I've never seen this before either. It's a uh, wood grain. Very, very interesting. And the wood grains are different on the two pieces, so. That's cool. We've got a gold foil sheet. Small piece of cream colored fabric. That's interesting. It's like paper. It's very smooth on this side and got a texture on this side. So that's pretty. Got our transparent sheets. Which, by the way, I know these look dirty and all. But they do have a protective film, which I'm not going to peel off right now because I don't know what they're being used for yet. And that right there is part of why they give you sandpaper. Look at that. I will clean that up more before it gets painted, but... <gasps> you got some more wooden pieces. Oh, that's a big one. I bet that's the floor. Oh, this has got a much bigger floor area than I expected but that makes me happy that means more room for playing around <laughs> more of these these are more of like a balsa type wood very thin wooden pieces probably all have to be painted as well very cute some more some look like tail fins of airplanes that one's a little bit warped so hoping that won't affect it too much and then there's the last piece and this one is thicker by far than the rest of them and that's it that's all that comes in this kit it's actually quite a lot it looks to me I don't know I didn't expect it to be that big but I'm very happy about it so um that's all I'm going to do for you guys this week. Um, just the unboxing. I always like to give myself a little bit of a break after finishing one of these kits. So we'll get the unboxing this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week we will start um, the painting process and the building process of like the furniture and getting the walls painted and everything like that. That will start next week. And uh, hopefully we can make this one a little faster than the last one. I know the last one kind of spread out just with sickness and hurricane and whatnot. So we're going to get this one put together a little faster. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you next Monday for another Miniature Monday. And until then, just remember, why not you? See you later, guys.